Welcome back to Kirby Actions. Yo, Chico Grande, aka Chico Two Times. My co-host Felix Supreme 305 is right there. And we're checking out Netflix Presents Rebel Moon. Was it that Star Wars movie you were telling me about? This is a fake Star Wars, Star Wars movie. So basically, mm -hmm. Zack Snyder, I think the guy that did all, or I know the guy that did all the DC stuff, like mm -hmm. Justice League and Superman and all that, he actually took a movie to Disney where he wanted to do it. And they said it was too R-rated. They said, we ain't, you can't like have like, like people yet? getting like chopped up. Oh, like and you can't and you can't be having. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna have any intimate scenes. I guess you could say, but I think it was more for like the 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 gore and stuff. But he's making basically a semi Star Wars fan film just on Netflix. So it's gonna be basically like a real movie. We're gonna watch the the trailer rated one through ten. Say if we're excited to see it, and we might read through some comments if we have some time to see what people are excited as us. But let's get it started. I wonder if Luke Skywalker is gonna be in this. No. Uh huh, buttholes. No, if you must know, I don't know why you're talking about buttholes. Because <laughs> you can't use the real name, so you have to change it. You know, oh. so put a little spice on it. <laughs> Instead of Luke Skywalker that, is. That's not spice. Mr. Jenkins. Um, uh, but supposedly in his movie, since he, you know, it can't be too close to Star Wars, in his movie to to be able to wield something basically like a lightsaber, that you can't do it with real hands. So if you wanted to be a lightsaber wielder, you have to chop your hands off and get robot hands so you can actually handle something that heats up to that amount of heat. That's whack. I thought you were going to go more creative than that. I told you it's like Star Wars. But let's see. I haven't even seen this trailer, so this is an honest first reaction. Oh, and if you do like Star Wars, we just reviewed episode one and two of Ahsoka. So go check that out on our Star Wars playlist. We reviewed Book of Boba Fett and many other things. Do you know the story of the Princess Issa? No. Mama In myth, she was called the Redeemer. It was said this child would stop the madness of war. That she was Wakanda. to usher in a new age of peace and compassion. Mama I was given memories of a world I will never see. Loyalty to a king I cannot serve. And love for a child I could not save. What do you think they want? Everything. I found her. I am a child of war. I was taught that love is weakness. There is a difference between justice and revenge. There is a price to pay for your defiance. One woman. I do love this part. <laughs> Hold on. I don't want no trouble. Pardon? We're not here to bring any. This movie looks nothing like Star Wars. It reminds me, it just looks like its own own movie. Yeah. Well yeah, I mean they can't they can't really even get close to it. So they he probably had to change up many aspects of it to it's... make it where they couldn't say, Hey, you're making a Star Wars ripoff. True, because even the ships aren't even look, look, don't even look like Star Wars ships. No, like he couldn't do anything. And I'm and throughout this whole scene, I seen one clip of lightsabers, and I was like for a split second. Besides that, they shooting guns. It almost reminds me, it's like a Tomb Raider of the future. I can see with that. that girl, I can see that. I, but, can see I don't that. know. Tomb Raider wasn't really a soldier, so I don't know. It kind of, who knows? It looks pretty decent. Let's see. Are you ready? You and I both know fear. Let's show them that we're not afraid. Let's show them we're more than the shackles that bind us. You can't rip out Star Wars, you can rip out Tar you can rip out, rip out Hercules. A king is a man, and a man can fail. But a myth 
is indestructible. The time has come for all that you love. Protect each other. We show them no mercy. So whoever this oh, that, black... was, that was the dude from um... Black Mirror Him right there. Yeah. Whoever he is, he has to be paid because that's what anytime they make an action movie, he's, he's in, it. in it. He's in it. I think he was in the Blades too, like he's, Blade Three. He's in everything. Uh, what's the what was the biker show? Biker Mice from Mars. No, for like the the biker show. Um, Hell's Angels. Oh my God, I can't remember it. It was the biggest biker show in the world like five years ago. It was like with real people, and he uh, was the main guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, <sighs> Hell's Angels? Hell, no, oh. no, 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 no. Charlie's Angels three full N throttle. Nah, um, what's the name? Because now they have the Mayan show, which is like a, a spinoff of this show. What's the name of it? Oh uh, man! Just do Rebel. <laughs> a biker Mice Mice from Mars. <laughs> oh my god, Biker Mice from Mars was definitely cool, but you looked that up. Oh man! And it just—it was like a long TV show. It was too, like went so. on for like eight years. Yeah. Here, I'll look it up at the end. Protect each other. We show them no mercy. I can't remember everything. Hell's Angels? No, that's a real group. Who among you is willing to die for what you believe? Part December. one. Part one. He gonna make his own Star Wars. Part two in April. Yeah. Sons of Anarchy. Sons of Anarchy. Thank you. I knew Jesus it. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Sons of Anarchy was good. And then uh, the lady from my wife and kid, not my wife and kids, from uh, Married with Children. Yep. She was on there. She was a good, she got, she got our word, great, but, um, this is amazing. This reminds me nothing of Star Wars. If you were to play this, play this, and then at the end of the movie, you've been like, oh yeah, you know, this is like a, a copy of Star Wars. It'd be like, where? I see nothing of Star Wars in here, but lightsabers. And I probably wouldn't even, even, uh, I probably wouldn't even say that was Star Wars. Yeah. It looked more like a, like a future samurai. Let me see. When well, Star Wars is kind of was based off the old samurai movies, but I'm I'm liking the movie. Uh, the fact that they're doing part one means that he's gonna get a lot more, a lot more green lights. I'll see how I'll, I'll see how this goes. I mean, hopefully, you know, they uh, Star Wars accept this and let him be a part of the crew. I think it's funny that they went to the. Uh, he what went, if they put he, Star he, Wars he theory in the scene? First. What if you see Star Wars theory in this? That would be a, a major yeah, F him you him to scene. Star Wars. They should they should hire him for part two and just give him a small role. <laughs> Just so he could give Disney the middle finger. Then they really ain't gonna they really gonna put him in the blacklist then. Yeah, but I mean there's some cool visuals. I was trying to see if I could find the uh, lightsabers? Yeah. It was so quick like Yeah, it was, yeah, it was like half a second, so I don't even know if it'll register while I'm scrubbing like this. But I'm gonna give this trailer a, give it a nine, nine point three. Nine point five. I like it. Nine point three. I'm but, definitely down to see it. So when this drops, um, we might not do an in-depth reaction, but we might give it a reaction. Just be like what we thought of part one and what we thought of part two, like a small little 10-minute breakdown or what just thoughts after watching it. So let us know if you're interested in Rebel Moon. Does it look like any type of Star Wars ripoff to you besides the lightsabers? And let us know what you think about it. And if you're a big Zack Snyder fan, and also let us know if you like the DC Universe. Um, I'm more of a Marvel guy myself because... Uh, is that you holding your sword? So me hold my lightsaber. So when you do the editing clips, I have a lightsaber in my hand. I'm not gonna put a lightsaber. <laughs> you a <are> goofy. <laughs> we'll put something else in your hands. Don't you worry. Maybe oil. <laughs> More worse than that. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Check out everything else we do in the description. And uh, any final words? Man, keep it tight. May the force be with you. And Luke, I am your father. Because this is not Star Wars. But thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next reaction. I'm going to put this in the Star Wars playlist just to piss some people off. Thanks. We'll see you next time.